Alright guys, Sean here and today we're going to cover Black Rover chapter 12 and this chapter was very interesting with regards to certain aspects. It turns out my prediction video was on point regarding the fact that Leak was going to meet up with the demon. But it turns out the expectations I had for Leak versus the demon were kind of let down because Leak could not use his full arsenal here. So that in itself proved disadvantageous for Leak and that's why he got restrained by the demon. Now let's talk about the demon's interaction with Leak and it appears Yes, he knows that Licht is kind of unstable since Licht seems to be in some sort of semi-vegetable state meaning he can actually use all of his abilities yet because i found it kind of weird that when you know was powering up and raya commented about his mana he clearly stated that you know's mana could disintegrate physical objects but in this battle leak ended up being restrained by physical restraints which was kind of weird to me because i expected his mana to act and destroy them obviously the demon was kind of wary of leak that's why he went for long range attacks and not close range attack cause leak swordsmanship skills in this chapter one point meaning he would wreck the demon if he was actually close to him so the demon decided to play it safe and attack from range the most important aspect of this chapter was the fact that yami was following chala now chala states that she was following baval who got knocked out so we can actually link the demon to baval in some way he probably was the one who knocked out baval but the question i'm actually asking you guys would be how did he get into the shadow palace in the first place is it that he already possessed Lone ever since or did Baval meet Lone and the demon acted out and knocked him out because Mimosa did state that the mana that knocked out Baval was not that of an elf and not that of a human so it is very possible that when he possessed Lone he came out and knocked Baval out or probably that was prior to him possessing Lone. I really want to know Lone's part of the story because there are a lot of loose ends regarding certain aspects in this particular arc and I really like the author to wrap it up quite well. Another important aspect about this chapter was the fact that Yami basically sensed that the demon was an embodiment of evil. I mean he really said that the demon was emanating a lot of malice so kind of funny to see Yami take a back seat and decide not to fight against the elves but instead help Lick the Enchala to fight against the demon cause the enemy of my enemy is my friend so it makes a lot of sense so I expected Yami to at the very least be that smart cause to be honest even though he landed the dimensional slash I don't think he's gonna mean much to the demon cause his world so magic is kind of overpowered but because he has support and backup from Lick the Enchala who are quite powerful it's gonna be really really difficult for the demon to escape right now. Still Tabata did allude to the fact that the demon would make it out of there cause Nero for the first time spoke and a lot of people are predicting that Nero could actually be the other half of Lick but I don't think that's the case. In any case he did want to go to the remains of the demon of the against the first wizard king so there must be something relating him to that area and one of the first things I would like to say is that because he actually wants to go to the bones and the remains it might actually mean that the predictions were all true and he actually harbors half of leaks so but there is the other case that Petri did leave the stone tablet there so if Nero removes just a single magic stone the reincarnation magic could end up being stopped so probably that's another possibility that uh, Tabata would like to explore but because he actually spoke for the first time I still think he would want something else so I won't be surprised if he actually has ties to Asta's demon at this point cause he's been helping Asta do a lot but because Asta's more links him more to leak out really want it to be that Nero is harboring half of Leek's memories. So let me know your thoughts about this chapter solid 10 out of 10 delivered of awesome points and yeah so let me know your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys real soon as usual on my whole show and this is goodbye.